Hey there. I thought I would do a quick little video. Um, I'm sc still skeptical as to whether 5G is actually the best way to go. I'm using LTE on my phone. I uh, live in an area of northwest Austin, Texas, that is a fairly, uh, you know, well-wired area. It's it's a, not a, in the boondocks. It's, it's along a very major corridor. The new Apple facility is opening uh, with 10,000 employees. It's their Southwest headquarters, I think is what they're calling it. It's opening a mile away from here. So this is the LTE performance, you know, and I'm, this is on LTE, I'm getting 70, 80 uh, megabits a second. And according to T-Mobile, and T-Mobile is the best coverage in the uh, area that I've lived in. They always have been, I've used, at and I've used T-Mobile, I've used Verizon, and of all of them, this T-Mobile has always performed the best of any of them. And so, you know, here I'm getting LTE performance of, you know, 84 is the average speed and a 3.2 up speed. Uh, and what I found was when I got my new phone, this is a Pixel 6 Pro, um, really good phone, great phone actually, just love it. But when I got it, and I went in and had the 5G turned on, it just, the performance was just terrible. I mean, it was it was so bad that I was like, what is going on here? Um, I just felt like the quality of service, it was sketchy. It would cut in and out really frequently. Okay, so 5G is now my preferred network type. I had it on, I had it on the uh, LTE previously. So let me back out of here, back to here, and let's rerun this test. This is with the 5G turned on now. And let's see, I mean, sometimes it shoots through the roof and others, well, there you go. This was getting 70 and 80 megabits a second just a moment ago. Now sometimes, and I'm, I try to be super duper impartial here. I'm just trying to give you a factual estimation of what's going on here in a real world test of no editing, no crazy stuff going on here. You'll see up here in the corner, it says 5G now, uh, and it, it has about the same number of bars as it had when it was on, uh, when it has the same number of bars as it had when it was, it, in fact, it may have more bars under 5G right now than it had under the LTE in 24, in a one point, you know, something of the, the up speed. That's just terrible. Now, oftentimes the second test will run faster. Yeah, well, yeah, see, yeah, there we go. Okay, and now it's getting up to faster speeds, but this is not consistent either. If I start moving around, walking around the house or going around the neighborhood, something like that, these speeds go down to almost nothing. So yeah, look at that. It's, it's you know, when you get it tested a couple of times, you run the test through a few times, it does pick up speed. Um, but as far as that's just, you know, prodding the test to sit there and run, as far as just walking around and utilizing 5G, it just isn't there yet. The, you know, switching from one point to another, and I, I have a feeling that 5G um, oftentimes connects to smaller hotspots as opposed to a bigger tower. And when your phone is flipping, look, it's kind of stalled out completely there. Um, there, it's doing its thing again, but actually, yeah, uh, it, it just is not reliable. I'm sticking with LTE on my phone. I thought I would show you. Uh, the phone does 5G. If they ever get all their act together as far as the technology goes, I may switch it on. Uh, but for now, the 70 and 80, 90 megabits that I'm getting routinely and consistently with the LTE is good enough for me. Y'all have a good day.